What up, Guru Jojo? Here to provide a tarot forecast for this full moon cycle announcement. I will be doing forecasts for the full moons and the new moons. That's my schedule as it relates to tarot. Okay, so no more weekly forecasts. Um, however, this is going to be a motivational full moon tarot forecast. Guess what card just popped out? We're not going to be... You know what? I am going to utilize it. It's the world card. So I'll just put it out here too. But um, I'm starting with water signs. So, so far, water signs got the world card. Basically, for this particular full moon forecast, which will be in Leo, 20 degrees on February 9th, I'm going to be doing this by element. I'm starting with water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What are those divine messages that you shall receive at this time? All right. Also, let me pull on these cards, too. So let's see. Cancers, you guys are going to be focused more so on your sense of value, your possessions. You may want to be able to possess the entertainment and recognition at this time. Why? Because Leo will be transiting your second house at this time, all right? The full moon will be transiting your second house. Scorpios, you you too, you too. You guys will be focused more so upon your 10th house, public status, reputation, maybe boss figures. Okay, you may want to receive a promotion or a higher job position of some sort. You may be entertaining supervisors a little bit more at this time or manager figures because you're dealing with the 10th house. Um, these people may be watching you a little bit more at this time, so be careful with what you do. Pisces, you're going to be more focused upon your sixth house, day-to-day -day routine, being critical, analyzing things, um, scheduling, work, service, craftiness. Okay, More attention will be geared towards your work at this time. All right. There may also be a need for you to entertain other people's work, but um, I think more so of the details behind who entertains your work, who appreciates your work, getting recognition for your work, that will be coming out more in the forefront um, because we're dealing with the sixth house. What are signs you guys all receive this renewal card here? So with the renewal card here, what I'm seeing is that this is judgment card. You may have a second opportunity. You may be judged, okay? Depends on the situation, right? Remember I said Scorpios, you guys are dealing more so with that 10th house energy. So a lot of Scorpios are being judged right now. Be careful with the things that you do. You're under evaluation, a lot of Scorpios. On the other hand, you are in a management position and you could be now judging your employees or something like that. All right, this goes for Scorpio and Pisces because the 10th house and the 6th house are both dealing with work and career. 10th house, career, 6th house, more work, mundane work, or the details behind your work, okay? Um, renewal, it reads, Archangel Jeremiel. Renewal, Jeremiel, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, review and evaluate. A favorable assessment of the facts, time to move in a new direction. That's what the card reads, card number 20. So... Remember I said also the world card came, so there could be a new establishment to your workplace, your work environment, and even like the supervisors or managers that you're dealing with. for Cancer, Scorpio, and or Pisces. No, and Pisces, not and or. So this could be for your sun sign, your moon sign, and rising sign, by the way. The sun card is the first card here received too. So all water signs right now should be kind of in the limelight. Okay, you could be entertaining some new things, um, entertaining some sort of situation in which you would be judged in some way. So some people could be trying out for something. Um, three of swords here. So it looks like in the past you could have been hurt in matters involving the heart, 
love situations. Um, what I'm going to do here, Spirit, can I get a card for the Zodiac sign of Cancer? All right, that card kind of wanted to pop out, but I just saw a Judgment card kind of pop out again too here, so Cancer, Cancer, Spirit, what are your messages? All right. All right, so this is the Page of Swords. So for Cancers, you guys could be dealing with a new air sign individual in your life, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. At the same time, you could be receiving a message from this person. They could have sent out a letter or maybe they're just trying to communicate with you in some way. This could also too just be like a simple message, like a just a text message or something. Um, but it's not anything shocking. It's just literally like back and forth communication possibly with this person. They could be kind of on guard about you and that's why they could just be kind of asking questions maybe. This is not really a questioning energy. It's more like a energy that like is influencing you to do stuff. But it could be very subtle. So the chariot card is here too. So... This would be like getting a message, a message to pull you towards a particular direction that may be in your best interest. So influencing your path and the direction that you end up going in. Within this path, there is some sort of betrayal or heartbreak that needs to be healed as well. Messages for Scorpio. These two cards want to pop out for Scorpio. Scorpios are undergoing a transitioning process because they feel like they have been left out in the cold in some way. They feel separated from their love partners. Also, too, why the Three of Swords is probably here, too. So they could feel a sense of being separated from love partners at a time when love, you know what I'm saying, Valentine's Day is here. So it just could be like kind of feelings of like not feeling like you can assert yourself as you please just because of some sort of past situations in the area of love that wasn't the best. But what I'm seeing is that as this new energy is coming in, like it's almost saying if some people have some issues in love, you may just need to try to do online dating, okay, for some water sign people. Because it's like, it's a world card. Like there's other structures out there for you, other opportunities, but it's outside of the energy that you may be comfortable with or used to. So maybe it's time to put yourself out there. Also, some people, especially um, the Scorpios, y'all are dealing with partners that are quite eccentric, different, or you feel like they are at a distance from you. You also feel like you have problems with your belief system and this kind of separates you from the rest of society. Um, you could have a different belief system from the rest of your family. The Wheel of Fortune here, there's a good opportunity coming your way. This is for all the water sign individuals. As long as you set the right plans in motion, the karma for that is coming back now. Messages for Pisces. Let's see. All right, Pisces. We got the three of wands here. You could be wanting to go on a trip to go travel or something like that. It looks like something is giving you like the okay, like, you know, thumbs up. But it's also followed by this ten of swords here. So it comes with some sort of damage possibly to your reputation or there is like... um it's like you have an opportunity for something, but this opportunity, it doesn't have the best reputation. So imagine like, it's almost like, like this is the smallest example. You applied to Walmart, like Walmart doesn't have the best reputation, especially for employees. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people say like the employees complain a lot at Walmart because they're not treated the best. It's like that. It's like you have an opportunity towards something, but they come with a damaged past. But it's like, I feel like you are like the luck in their life to help like fix things. Like, it's like they kind of see you as a person that is like a fixer. Like you bring, like, I, have, I got like this feeling and now it went away. It's like, it's almost like they're like, oh, but 
this person doesn't care about that. It's almost like you're not so judgmental of people and you actually the you actually like bring light of the stuff that other people may feel distraught about, embarrassed about, and you're a blessing because of that. And it's like you have this opportunity with this person or this company. All right, I'm gonna get a clarifier for Cancer first. And then, so for Cancers, Seven of Pentacles. So it's basically where I was saying for Cancers, you guys have this communication possibly back and forth with a person. They could be kind of logically, communicatively, in a subtle way, giving you messages to move in a particular direction. You're inspired at this time. You're inspired to continue to be patient and grow. There's something it's taken a very long time for it to manifest. It's taken a very long time for growth, but you feel very patient about it and you're still working towards it. On the other hand, some of y'all need to go towards a different direction and you're gonna figure that out soon. That's some seed for cancers. Scorpio. All right, Scorpios, you are undergoing a transitioning process. There's not much action you can take right now because the universe is kind of telling you to kind of sit back and wait for things to happen. For example, you could have put plans into motion. You could be waiting for this opportunity. But you have to understand that you aren't the only person here on this earth. I mentioned this in an old video. I was saying how like people kind of just want things now, but they don't understand that it takes all these other steps for you to possibly get what you want. And people can't put a pause on their lives just to grant you an opportunity. So you could want a particular job, but you don't understand somebody already holds that position and you can't just kind of wish for it and then just throw that person in the garbage and you just have that position like that person has a particular control over other people's lives in some way like if they lose their job maybe they have kids and now their kids can't get food like it's like stuff like that you have to think about so you have to wait for something you have to wait for something to come at the same time you have a lot of passion towards something you could be dealing with a fire sign individual aries leo sag at the same time, you feel separated from the rest of society. So you need to kind of get in tune with your weirdness. Like something about you is different and you just feel like secluded. Like you feel secluded from the rest of society. You feel like you're left out in the cold and love manners, matters. And it could just be because of the Valentine's Day coming up. Um... A boss figure could be controlling things behind the scenes, but in general, it's just that you just feel like you're different and you're coming more in tune with your true spiritual beliefs right now at this time. It's just like the family you could have grown up in has completely different beliefs than you do. And this could have been a conflict of interest and you could have felt left out in a cold from your family and friends as a result. But now you're coming back in tune with that. You could be rejudging other people's belief systems too and transitioning away from a lost situation, like something that's just not working anymore. Pisces, last card for Pisces. All right, so this is the 10 of Pentacles for Pisces. So what I'm seeing is that, you know, a lot of Pisces, you guys, like I said, you have some sort of new opportunity, whether it be you're going on a trip, you're going to travel, something was approved. Like, you know, there's an approval. The thing is, this approval is from something that has a damaged reputation. Something about it, maybe in the past, things got messed up. Like, it could even be something where, like, you could have had a bad credit score or something like that. But you've reestablished yourself, so people are able to look past that. Or a person you're dealing with is like this. Like, they have, like, a bad past um, where people try to destroy their reputation. You're really building something like like some sort of legacy all right that's what i'm seeing
for the water signs. All right, so for I'm actually going to do separate videos for this. So thank you for watching.